Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Ooh, yeah. Big bub, bub, big bub, bub, big bub, 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 big bub. That's for all y'all who miss big bub. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T, and this is another edition of Lady T Sensations. Don't adjust your screen. Yes, I know this is a Sunday, but today, look, I just got out of church. It's a lot. It's one o'clock. Mom is going to be cooking, but dinner's not going to be ready till late, till around six-ish. So your girl got to eat now. So I wanted to come home and change clothes anyway. So I said, you know what? What's the girl to do but to put on a, another video? So anyway, let me say grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Y'all, I was just craving it on the way home from church. Got me a foot-long Coney Island, and I just wanted ketchup, mustard, and onions. I got some cheese doodles and some tater tots. Of course, you got to do the applesauce. And I got a strawberry tea. And uh, I don't know what it was, but they were being a little stingy with the ice. So I just got some ice over here. I'm just going to transfer. Somebody say transfer. And um, I just have them mix, do a sweet tea and an unsweet tea, sweet tea, half and half. And then I asked for strawberry flavoring in it. And it actually is actual strawberries um, because they actually put actual strawberries in it. I should have stirred it up. Let me make sure it ain't bland on the top. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I need to try it out. There's strawberry tea. Okay. All right, Lady T, let's get it pop blocking. And you know I had to go ahead on and bust out my onion powder. Why not? Let's put some on the hot dog. I mean, why not? Who 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 gonna stop it? And I got me some um, ketchup sweetened with honey. This is actually good. It really is. But anyway, I hope everybody's been having a fabulous weekend and a fabulous Sunday. Me and my mom went out to a place called the Redneck uh, Barbecue Lab. Excellent. But it was so crowded and it was so many people in there. And that, of course, had music going, so couldn't record. Good, okay. All right, y'all, this is what I got. Mac and cheese, jalapeno, pickled onions, pickled okra. I'll probably get that to mama. Some ribs, some smoked chopped chicken, piece of cornbread coleslaw. And mom got brisket and mac, turnip greens coleslaw. But she, I'm going to see if she'll uh, want one of them okras. And people were talking and mmm mmm oh my that uh, Q to Q sauce would be excellent on this
Mm. My nephew and I may be going to the movies this afternoon to see Glass, which is the bat spin off split. The movie split. So. And actually, the movie Unbreakable was the first one. Then Split, then Glass. So, that's why I'm going ahead on and eating because all I'm going to do is get me something to drink at the theater. Because y'all already know what happened last time I had popcorn. It went all to the left. So we're not doing that. Because, I mean, what's the purpose of getting popcorn when you can't get butter on it? That's so rude and disrespectful to my to my body, to my mouth. I should say, I'm not even gonna do it. I could get me some nostrils and cheese though, but like I said, it's about one. It's one fifteen now. I'm thinking about going to the four o'clock show, and when we get out of the movie theater, my mom should be finished cooking. Mm. I remember growing up, we would take these cheese doodles because we love the crunch. And we go. All the way to the end. Y'all, there's so much stuff that's happen. I don't even know how to, what to talk about. Some stuff I can't talk about. Ooh, that strawberry tea. That John Brown strawberry tea, though. Can we give, can we give a hand for that? Are you kidding me? 
Oh, yes. Honey, that's the business now. That's the business. You want to talk about something. You want to talk about something. Mmm. Mm. I guess one thing I can say I guess I want to talk maybe just a few for a few minutes about red flags. And this is for anybody. You know, God give us all each a level of intuition. Some people may call it, you know, you might say discernment. Uh, hmm, moment or. We all should have a level of that. And I really think that we all do. It's what are we paying attention to? Are we paying attention to those things? And I can't tell you how many times I can remember, even in my own life, what is it about us as human beings? We overlook, when I tell y'all we look, overlook so many red flags, it don't even necessarily have to be in people. It could be in situations. There, something rises up in your stomach, like that gut feeling, like I said, intuition, discernment. Something rises up in our stomach that says, uh, don't do that. Uh, don't go there. Uh, don't say that. But how many times do we just totally, totally ignore that? I, I, I'm, I, I, I have tapped into that more and more as I've gotten older, but I'm going to tell you, there were some times in my life I can remember doing things where I fly by the seat of my pants. And, and, and you know, sometimes, as I, like I said, as I'm getting older, you see people or situations and you really don't have a dog in that fight. So you really just sort of, not that you're silent on, on issues that we should all be voicing our opinions on. No, I'm not talking about those type of situations. I'm just talking about your every mundane things. When we ignore those God-given intuitions, again, discernments, again, gut reactions, why do we ignore those things? They're, 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 they're truly built, whether you believe in God or not. Those things in our inner self, our inner woman, our inner man, they're there for a reason. And I don't know if there's an answer other than t other than the fact we just want to ignore things because we want to do what we want to do, or we we have that innate all you know thing in us that said, well, you know what, I'm gonna hope and pray that they do better, and 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 they, and and they turn around or turn from this or turn from that. You hope the outcome is gonna be. A positive one but then we, we again we ignore we ignore why do we ignore those things and maybe we don't all know the answer until we get there when we have to make a decision about it but you know maybe that's just me just talking and trying to figure out, you know, bringing st stuff to the surface, bringing the stuff to the light. You know, just think about those things in our lives. What can we do to snap ourselves out of ignoring red flags? And, you know, that's just a thought. Maybe it ain't even necessarily something that we can all answer today in one video. But at least put that on your mind. And then, too, I still think it's important when you're making big life decisions, give yourself some time. 
give yourself some time before you make a decision. Again, that microwave society mentality. We got to have it done right now. We got to know an answer right now, right now, right now. If we don't get an answer right now, we're going to miss out. Well, if we miss out, then maybe it won't meant to be. But anyway, just I just thought about, just think, that's just been on my mind today since I've been up. So many red flags. And like I said, I can't tell you everything. You know, in our lives, I can't share everything. But, you know, there, there's just situations going on. And, and you know, I, I, I was, you know, asked about this and asked about that. And, I, you know, man, you, you just want to. It's like you want to point, point it out to the people. But some, in some things in life, people have to be able to know how to point it out themselves. Or I can discern it and see it. But that person has to see it in order for them to be successful and productive and getting up and getting over that. They really do have to see it for themselves. Because, I mean, you know, when a person's talking to you and they tell you, Honey, you, see, you saw that red flag, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. that one and again we may see it for them but they have to see it for themselves don't they mm. anyway don't want to get all deep into that But I guess what I'm saying, if anything, we have to start inclining to ourselves. And really tap into our inner man and inner woman and say, you know what? Do I really need to do that? Do I really need to say that? I've been given all the signals. I've been given all the signs and all that. Am I going to ignore them and deal with the heavy consequences of it? I'm going to tell you, things in life, it may work out for Sally, Susie, Tom, and Rick. And, but just because they did it, don't mean it's going to work out for you that way. We should all know by now, everybody ain't built the same. We just aren't. So it's important to examine yourself. It really is. Because what bothers you may not bother me. So anyway, y'all. Just food for thought. But anyway, I'm finna get off so I can watch Unbreakable. Change clothes. And I hadn't even called my nephew. We talked about it yesterday. I should have had big bubble over here on the side. Big bubbles. Bubbles. Should have had big bub over here. Mm, that ketchup with honey is good to me. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to do it. I'm kind of, I might even take me a little nappy nap.
yeah. All right, y'all, let's do it. Let's do it. Man. Mm. Get old applesauce. Yes, y'all, I'm still on this applesauce kit. Love it. All right, y'all. About to do it. Y'all stay tuned for the flavor train for Sunday dinner. Anyway, let me go, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for hanging and flowing with me and my family. I love you so much. It means so much. And that's it. And that's all. I will see you on the next video. So thank you for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. Bye, y'all.